Hello and welcome to the second instalment of Matthew's silly footage. Here we can see a plane uh, landing at Cardiff Wells Airport and this has been chopped out of another piece of footage and edited into this driving down a road sequence. And what we're building up to here is it's basically uh, an attempt at a little movie feature. So look, I've even done titles. Secret Location, uh, an army lab in Yorkshire. Goodness gracious, I could have taken more time with those fonts. There we are, and then we cut in a piece of the radar from Cardiff Wells Airport. So this is your secret base, you see? It says, secret base sprayed onto a piece of card. So that's how you know. And of course, they're carrying shotguns, waving them around. That's what they do at secret army bases. And then we've got a shot of the Yorkshire Moors, as it were. And as the camera pans across, we get a car coming up these lonely moors. Well, this is in fact on top of the um, Bulk Mountain, which is uh, very s close, in fact, to where they filmed American Werewolf in London. So if you notice any of the same sort of rough Welsh mountainside looks, um, it was meant to be on the Yorkshire Moors, the Werewolf in London, but it was actually filmed that sequence in Wales. And then we've got the car, um, which I used to drive a hell of a lot of, it's uh, ANY349T, that's NE349T, so anybody for T, that was the Mini, that's Mum's Mini, which um, was ruthlessly abused and, uh, um, yeah, died a couple of times and got involved in a crash or two. And so the people at the base seem to have spotted something now, so they obviously want to see, you know, people's papers I mean why is he waving a shotgun around in the air it's not the sort of thing you'd expect but there you go so he's he's obviously shown his papers we've got um, Emir Webster on the left Raymond Tutty on the right and uh, Leon Tutty in the car Leon's his brother so um, he's wearing my dad's lab coat and uh, a hard hat so obviously you now he's gone to work and then we cut to later on something's obviously wrong the scientist is running out of the lab and he's running towards the guards to tell them that there's something up there and one of the guards goes up there but gets attacked by an invisible something so Raymond Tutty in his uh, award-winning um, Oscar performance here is now dead and the two uh, other guys managed to run down an Emmy Webster uh, falling over there a spectacular sort of thing that he used to do sometimes when he used to run it wasn't the only time I've seen uh, good old Emir uh, fall over but there we are um, and then they run off into the distance obviously um, the monster doesn't seem capable of chasing them for some reason and then f for some unknown reason two days later we have uh, it's Raymond Tutty again, and Anthony Peel, I believe. Um, obviously, uh, Raymond has reprised a role here. Now he's uh, no longer a security guard, he's a child. And they are playing in the park, as children play in the park. Um, brilliantly acted, as, as you do. <laughs> and as they're playing in the park, uh, Raymond says, oh, well, actually he doesn't yet, because the monster's got to come. So this is Evil Dead style filming of the monster coming through the, the woods. And if I edit this together, we'll have to have some sort of Evil Dead type sounds coming here, I think. And um, so the monster runs through the woods after seeing the kids. And of course, because it's invisible, the kids can't see it coming. So just like the Evil Dead, it can run straight up to you and then, then you realise. So it runs straight up to the... Uh, to the thing and Raymond goes look over there and he's like oh my god and then he's getting attacked and Anthony's like oh what's going on why are you down there oh but something's pulling me now as well so yeah it's all very convincing at this point um, and then obviously we have to put the special effects camera in there and then something's eaten him and taken him away but the other boy is being dragged off by the creature so yes this is uh very convincing um, and then camera pans off into the distance you know to kind of suggest that we're just about to change shot and then Raymond Tutty again managing you know you're not supposed to notice that these are the same people uh, he reprises his role a third time um, as man man with wig on being attacked in whilst reading newspaper um, and I'll probably have to cut that at some point 
because of the overacting <laughs> and he pulls his wig off as well and then he's like oh but I'm going to run away so um and then he runs away and then gets attacked again by the monster and some good stunt work there uh, falling around uh, Ray was a bit of a karate man so uh, you know to throw himself about a bit so this is the view from where we used to live in Barry all the way across to that was where Cardiff Wales Airport was in that direction and uh, some nice houses with a view over the sea and uh, aircraft flying back in across the sea to Cardiff Wales Airport and then some title sequences which were meant to get cut in but never did so and for some reason I thought it would be funny to have a word from the sponsors right in the middle of the killing sequences to cut away to something else which doesn't really make a lot of sense and then pow for when a monster actually attacks and meanwhile somewhere else so that could be cut in and never was cut in to the footage so it just exists in a linear form in the wrong place and then we cut across to Anthony Peel who is now reprised again and is ah see the footsteps see the footsteps in the snow ah, there you go so something's just walked up to him and he sees the footsteps in the snow and realizes there's a foot oh what's this legs a body oh my god it's a body and ah uh, now it's attacking him convincingly invisibly and that's about it so hope you enjoyed uncut footage from a movie that never was um let's see whether we can cut it together into something funny at some point